Yeah, uh, audible? Okay. So this is the a lightning talk on an Estin and NFE integrated OpenStack Cloud, a bird's eye view on security. And in this presentation, I'm going to take you through uh, uh, SDN, uh, OpenStack with SDN and NFE from data center to the edge, uh, an OpenStack integrated SDN uh, and NFE cloud, a five dimensional threat analysis evolving each and every corner of the NFE and SDN integrated OpenStack cloud. And we will give a focus on the three layered approach of threat analysis on a bird, bird's eye view. And then we go for the different layered security approaches for OpenStack and security platforms and security initiatives and checklist. Finally, we'll uh, close this lightning talk. <coughs> and now in this light, in this now, uh, during the threat analysis, beginning this presentation, I have a, a, three, uh, a three layered approach to the data center to the edge. Since the data center is moving to, to be the hybrid uh, solution here, where the aggregate uh, nodes are the path to support these edge devices underlying. If you see the data center, there are a, a, min, a minimum thousand of devices. And in the fog, uh, the nodes, uh, there are around million devices. And if you come to the edge or the uh, base level, it is uh, something like a million of devices where you see uh, and if you see here, the edge devices, which are billions of devices, are the starting point of uh, threats into the data center and also the starting point of threats into the fog and edge nodes. And with this uh, uh, more number of devices coming into the NFA and SDN integrated cloud, it is necessary that we define a new SDN called security defined networking. And it is uh, a challenge, the security, the word security is becoming a very much good challenge to tackle the data center to the edge. And NFVI security is also a major concern because even the hardware itself must be much more secure when compared to the VNFs or the VMs or the complete infrastructure that is built um, the, into the cloud. And now, if you consider this OpenStack and NFE integrated uh, uh, cloud, there are certain projects which are helping to build this ETSI specification based uh, NFE infrastructure for uh, uh, realizing the SDN and NFE integration. If you see the complete manual solution of architect, orchestrator, VNF managers, and virtual infrastructure manager, we have the tacker and we have the complete uh, OpenStack infrastructure as a service solution. And we have uh, other uh, projects are called Kingboard for multi-site OpenStack Vim. We have TriCircle for OpenStack networking in multi-site. We have Muscari for VNF high availability. And we have the Freezer project for disaster recovery at each and every level what we have seen below. So these are, these are this is not an exhaustive list, but these are certain projects of more importance when you consider an SDN and NFE integrated cloud. And if you consider in the top, there is, that is the Neutron, the virtual networking one, and there are sub-projects for networking SFC, networking o, uh, OVN, and networking ODL. We have the heat that orchestrates these VNFs where the tracker is using. We, ha we have the Mistral for uh, a workflow and Barbican for secure store. So uh, based on uh, these projects, which are providing the complete solution uh, today for SDN NFE cloud, there is a, uh, we have do done a five-dimensional threat analysis, uh, taking into consideration the ITC uh, NFE end-to-end -end architecture, where we have the NFE infrastructure, where we have the hardware devices and everything pulled into that uh, uh, scenario where uh, there are the attacks are on the shared pool of uh, uh, resources and hypervisor level attacks and vulnerabilities in virtualized entities. And moving forward, upon the infrastructure, we are going to spawn the complete uh, virtualized, uh, virtualized network functions where we have the DDoT at attacks are more possible there and the noisy neighbor attacks is one of the thing which is going to exhaust the shared resources in the infrastructure that is being built. And different vendor NFE standards are making it uh, more difficult to maintain a security hardening of this uh, VNF layer. And moving to the SDN fabric and attacks in the forwarding plane, flood, uh, flooding of the network, and uh, vulnerabilities in SDN resources, and weak API endpoints. So these are making more impact towards the security of the networking fabric, which is uh, stitching these VNFs together to realize a network service. So moving forward, the MANO, which is the, something like an intelligent part in the SDN and NFE uh, world, 
is having weak access control, insufficient monitoring of the uh, activities and resources, and vulnerabilities in underlying layers, something like VNFs and, or NFVI, are weakening the MANO to make it possible that it's prone to attacks and certain vulnerabilities. And out of the others, something like weak control, what we say is uh, uh, VNF software or VNF packaging and uh, MANO software or SDN controller software, which is weak or uh, towards the vulnerabilities and exploits into that, making it more, uh, 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 more prone to some other attacks, which will weaken the complete infrastructure down. So in this five-dimensional analysis, it, uh, the more motivation is towards each and every dimension is, doesn't impact its own area, but that dimension impacts the other uh, existing area side by side, making the control for, for the attacker to give control to the complete system of uh, the cloud. And here is the three-layered approach, what we have considered, considering the HC, NFA, and uh, uh, architecture uh, with physical infrastructure and data space, NFA and SGN control space, and orchestration application space. Here, there are three different layers where um, the infrastructure lies, forms the fundamental block on which you will spawn your VNFs. And upon the VNFs, they, as per the infrastructure, we have element managers, as well as we have the orchestrators and uh, VNF managers existing there to spawn or respawn or to make some activity on the VNFs. And here the attacks also include the element managers, weak access controls in the element managers, managing these VNFs on the NFV and SDN control space. So moving forward, there is called the NFE orchestration and service network and service orchestration upon the SDN fabric. So here, the weak access controls are uh, uh, something like a testing logs. We just, um, uh, the uh, uh, network ad administrators or network deployers will leave some testing traffic or testing information hidden there that would be something like a honeypot to these hackers to get uh, more hold into the system. So with this threat focus as a bird's eye view, we focus on the security focus or the security requirements, what OpenStack is doing, how do we secure each and every layer with the multi-layer uh, approach uh, in, into our OpenStack cloud. And here is the uh, three security domains where OpenStack is moving on. There is the public management data. The cloud user using the API endpoints uses the message queue and the compute node for the image services. So here we use the HTTPS and secured message queue and image transfer. And the critical elements that secure the OpenStack cloud include secured communication, one of the very key important thing, and API endpoints, and some, something like uh, in the vulnerability issues from, secure, uh, from OpenStack or from uh, the other vendors, what we have seen is certain uh, testing endpoints are left as they are. They are not being taken away or they are not closed at all. So that gives an access for a uh, hacker or some other person external giving an entry into the secure system, breaking the things here. And one thing what he can do is he will exhaust the resources by making more and more stuff in the VNF so that the uh, other VNFs sitting side by side will get no resources and the complete system is frozen. So in that scenario, in that one, so these are the critical elements, what we see, data processing, databases, message queues, uh, object store, monitoring, logging. These things will become, uh, uh, the help provided by these systems will become inadequate when we consider uh, this type of attacks on these uh, things. So these are the main building blocks to be secured by, uh, from, uh, while we are using the OpenStack cloud. And here is the security initiatives from OpenStack, being a virtual infrastructure manager. And these are the very core OpenStack services. And each service has own, its own importance in the providing the infrastructure. So moving forward with Keystone, authentication and authorization, multi-factor authentication, non-persistent keys, strong high availability of PKI tokens. Coming to the compute service, the NOVA, we have the encrypted metadata traffic. We have the compiler hardening and security communication, providing going forward with the virtual networking fabric that is the OpenStack Neutron. Uh, we have some strong, we need to have strong security groups, enabling of quotas and mitigating this ARP spoofing. Glance is our image store, ownership of images. And these images, we need to verify furthermore before adding to Glance. Are these images are having any vulnerabilities? 
did the vendor who is providing these uh, images has taken some consideration on fixing uh, or putting some fixes of these vulnerabilities into the images? And are the images pre-tested to the vulnerability environment? Are there any hacks that are possible? Are there any files that are not uh, having proper ownership that are kept in these images? So this type of check is completely important when you upload certain images into the glands. And coming to the object store, we have the center where limited max body size request is one of the thing. If you see the uh, OpenStack vulnerability report uh, a month back or so, you can see one vulnerability that is fixed today based on this size, uh, this one, and enable volume encryption is one of the thing. And Swift and Barbican we have, Barbican is one of the good project where we see the uh, key management uh, interoperability protocol, uh, it will fit into the Barbican, and we see it as a manager key management store or key management as a service. And OpenStack Security is one of the, a, a project. Uh, it, is not, it provides the security advisories, security notes, and OpenStack Security Guide. So this type of OpenStack initiatives, so OpenStack Security is a project covering all these core services required for OpenStack to run as an infrastructure manager, enabling the VNFs and fitting into the ITC specification, making the SDN and NFE cloud a wonderful thing. <clears throat> and now, uh, as, we see, as we move on, we, get, we ourselves ask ourselves, is OpenStack ready for a secured cloud? As you see, OpenStack uh, is an extension, is a, for a well understood problem where if you see uh, where you want to secure a normal cloud infrastructure, our network admins and security engineers work hard with respect to the securing of the complete perimeter of the thing and reducing attack surfaces and managing logging and auditing. These are certain projects where OpenStack, with these uh, uh, projects and help, OpenStack is ready for a secured cloud. And if you can see the OpenStack security project as I have pr provided before, provides like advisories and uh, uh, issues and across the OpenStack projects. And it does a complete testing of the source code that has been pushed into OpenStack. It scans the source code for unused variables or unused things and everything so that any unused thing is moved out of OpenStack. And multi-factor authentication, previous slide I have shown for Keystone, which is the complete authenticator, and we have data encryption that is being supported in the center as well as in the, uh, Swift. We have support standards of how to, based on the governing bodies and how to do that. And we have the secured code. And OpenStack uses open source libraries, Bandit and Cinterbros and Anchor projects to secure the code that is being written by developers uh, so that it will be moved into uh, this one. And coming into the NFVI, so when we talk about NFVI, it, it, uh, it is not only limited to the data centers. It is limited to the aggregation nodes that are the path between the data centers and edge devices. And it also, it is not limited to the data centers. It is not limited to the aggregation nodes, but it is limited, it is also towards the edge devices what we are using. And today, if you see the market of edge devices, they can be anything, something like smart things. So, and the smart things are more capable of even holding a VNF onto itself, or, uh, something like our mobile device. So in that scenario, some secured boot, secure storage, key protection, and uh, key revocation, secure debugging, tamper detection, these are some of the key things what we need to look upon when we want to get an NFVI, something like a hardware resource, into our NFVI and SD integrated cloud. So that initial, uh, the fundamental security starts within NFVI. So it, it moves in that way that we have the runtime security and management enforcement, the trust tools and security monitors and secure storage of the image which is being uh, booted up on the hardware is also be secured, be stored secured on image. So any hacker who, is having, who has come into the system may, may have modified the operating system or something else. So the secured hardware would help you uh, in order to boot the things which are really secure to come up the resources and make that the initial fundamental security is maintained. And coming to the platform and gateway, we have the security uh, boot where, uh, for, uh, for example, I have taken for NXP and secure provisioning and trusted Linux. These are some of the gateway platforms what we provide with security hardened hardware. And here, with all these in, in place, I have a secure SDN and NFE integrated OpenStack Cloud. 
And if you see, there are uh, firewalls, authorized access, security policing, trust att attestation, IP and IDS. And if you see, there is one more thing I have newly added, security orchestration. In the morning, we have, uh, many of you have attended uh, virtualized security network functions, orchestration of virtualized security network functions along with your VNFs. So there must be something of data analytics, what are the traffic it is going on, what traffic it is coming on. So this type of things. And EMS is one of the another thing because an EMS comes to you, uh, the cloud when a VNF is provided by the vendor to manage the VNF itself. So the element management system, if it is weak, it is easily vulnerable to uh, 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 hack this cloud. So VN EMS must be into that. And VNF manager should have the VNF security engine propagated, hardware security, and these are certain endpoints, not as an exhaustive list, but because I can con capture complete uh, uh, security dots into the complete uh, small picture. So these are, this is an overview of uh, security hardened cloud. And finally, uh, we have the security checklist uh, with uh, more uh, on, upon the bird's eye view of the security what I have shown. So the, when, while these are all secured, we, I can't say that the, the NFVI or SDN is completely secure because it is completely a myth. So this is a checklist I have. Thank you.